Greetings everybody, John here with Wiki Game Guides with my S rank perfect stealth zero kills walkthrough for mission 12 hellbound of Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Um, so this is a very long mission but there's lots of checkpoints so it's not too hard. Uh, the first part of this mission is basically just sneaking out of this base and you do not get to choose where you drop in during this mission because uh, this mission starts after a long uh, side quest like one of the required yellow side quests, it's not one of the optional side quests. So you always start in that beginning area. And that beginning area actually is a great area to farm a uh, fuel resource. So if you're short on fuel resource, which of course you are, uh, you will need the, um, the black hole Fulton. And then you just load up the mission, there's two guards down there, you can just kill them or trank them and extract them, do whatever you want with them. And then uh, there are two, um, or there's a couple uh, crates of resources that you can just extract right there, but you have to have the black hole fold. If you don't have the black hole fold yet, you're like, you're in a cave, so you can't get them out of there. And then um, uh, on the opposite kind of catwalk in that starting area is like a piece of intel that you can read. And then as soon as you read that piece of intel, you get a checkpoint. So if you uh, extract those two things, get the intel, get that checkpoint, and then abort the mission, you, you save those resources that you just uh, extracted, and you can just restart the mission. So it, uh, you can just keep doing that, that section over and over and over again for easy fuel resources, which is pretty fucking handy. Um, I should make a separate video just for that. Anywho, uh, so the first part of this mission is just sneaking out of this base here. Um, and I found this way to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, there's a couple dummies because I forgot to do that side quest. Or the, the combat ops, combat deployment, I think that's what it's called. So just run over here, run across these girders over here, and then drop down. And then uh, you'll see that the next objective is quite a long ways away. So I just edited out the, the running part between here and like the final base that you have to really get to. There's a couple like checkpoints along the way and a couple mini bases where, you know, like any other checkpoint that, in, uh, I, I shouldn't use the word checkpoint, like any other roadblock, um, any other outpost, they, uh, they're very easy to get around as long as you have a car or just patience to go around the long way and not right through the road in the middle. But of course you can uh, kill all the people if you want or not kill all the people, uh, stun them and take them out. So here we go, here's the main part of the mission. Uh, our objective is to get in uh, the back left, like, the, f like the, the bunker that's the furthest from, or at the front of the base here, the easiest way to get through these first couple guards, just run over here to the right, and uh, you can completely get right past them all. God, this game is so much fun. Like, I, there are so few games that really hold up well to making a walkthrough. And it's such a pleasant surprise when I get to make a walkthrough for a game that, you know, I, I mean, it, like, I played this mission three or four times to get a good playthrough, to get a good recording, and not to mention, like, uh, to get the S rank or to play it through just the first time and all that and it's so much fucking fun and it really holds up well so okay I'm gonna mark the building that you need to go to right there so this is the building you need to make your way to um, and you know obviously you don't have to follow my exact route if you want to go through to take out everybody to extract them to fill up your bases then uh, in your FOBs or your mother bases in your FOBs you can do that I would highly recommend taking along D-Dog uh, I know a lot of people like Quiet, I like D-Dog so much more, and especially because, I think I mentioned this before, like, uh, you can lose Quiet with one of the very late game missions, um, that, uh, I think it's like mission 45, I think, if you, it's, it's a mission that involves Quiet in the story mission, so don't do that, um, anywho. Uh, so to sneak into this bridge here, there will be a couple D-Walkers and frequently this helicopter will just land right here and just kind of chill out for a minute. But he'll he'll leave in a minute, um, just kind of stay along the outside wall and then eventually uh, that, that final building that I have marked, uh, you can go up and over it. So if you go around the outside of it, you can actually very easily climb on top of it, but there's only one entrance into the building.
man, I really hope Metal Gear Online is good. <laughs> uh, this, uh, uh, the FOB infiltration stuff has been kind of complete shit, at least on the Xbox One. It's so laggy and so inconsistent that, like, I've never had fun playing it. But everything else about the game is fun. Like, I hope Metal Gear Online, oh, Jesus, doesn't suffer from the same problems that uh, Rainbow Six Siege beta that I'm playing right now is, is struggling through because, it, fuck, man, it's so, like, like the matchmaking is so bad. I, I mean, man, I remember Metal Gear 4 online. I had a lot of fun with that. So I'm really hoping that this game pulls off online well. Because I, I could really get into that. It comes out on October 6th. So hopefully, um, hopefully, I'll be making some videos for that. I have no idea. There's not a lot coming out in early October, games wise, so uh, we'll have to see. So just kind of crawl your way over here. You made it past the main entrance guard post. Uh, and then kind of make your way over here to the corner. Uh, I end up. I, I've been trying to avoid using the Trank sniper rifle as much as possible. Just because you may not have it, or you may not. Uh, yeah, you may not have it. That's the only reason why I've been trying to use it, or avoid using it. But in some situations, it's just kind of a time saver, even though I could have easily snuck up uh, underneath the guy or behind him or something like that. I, I, I've been trying not to use the Trank uh, sniper rifle with the silencer um, because. Oh, it's, it makes life so easy. <laughs> it makes life so... Ins it makes these missions so ridiculously easy. Um, because you can just take these guys out and get a perfect headshot from a mile away and just be on with your day. Um, it's, it's pretty fantastic. So I'm going to skip this guy here. Take this guy out here on the left. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but you have about a 30 meter radius for enemies to hear a black hole Fulton, or even a Fulton. Um, so if they are too close at night or daytime, if they're facing the wrong way, they will hear it. Um, there's one more guard here up on this guard post. D-Dog smelled him out for me. Smelling like a fucker. So I'm just gonna pop him with a uh, Trank Sniper. Oops, wrong one. I almost used the stun gun on him there. That would be bad. Boom. God, that, that thing is just... Man, I'll... <laughs> if they give you that gun at the beginning, they, like, oh man. I, I do kind of like how this game has the degrading uh, uh, silencers on it. I mean, it's a very interesting concept because it makes you realize, oh, you can't just can't just trank everybody like from the very beginning with the uh, with a silenced pistol the trank pistol um, but as soon as you get the infinite suppressor trank pistol it's just it's completely game over um, and on it like I haven't tried customizing the, the sniper rifle yet with the infinite suppressor but I'll have to uh, I'll have to see if that's possible so there's two guards here um, if you just climb over the building it's very easy to just take them both out you could even CQC them both if you had to um, because they're so close to each other without uh, setting off an alarm. You can, I think you can CQC up to four enemies in a row without setting off an alarm. So if they're just like, you know, ducks in a row, walking along, patrolling, something like that, you can easily just CQC them all. I think, I think it's four. It's either three or four. I don't, I don't CQC a ton of people, so I'm trying to avoid doing that. All right, so after a little cutscene, you're gonna get Dr. Emmerich, and then uh, you're gonna have to wait for them to go through a couple lines of dialogue here for a minute, and then eventually you'll put Dr. Emmerich's face in the D Walker, and then you can pick him up with the D Walker. I think this is the first time you get the D Walker in this game. Uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely is. So uh, then go out this front door, go back the exact same way you just came out, or you infiltrated, rather. And what you have to do is you have to make your way to this helicopter infiltration point uh, that's marked 360 meters away from where I am right now, or else like you you, you can't like you can't just escape. It's kind of deceiving. Like when I replayed this mission, I made a huge mistake of just like finding my own way and trying to call in a helicopter at a different spot um, because. There is a big cutscene that's going to happen after you get close enough to this helicopter, and you like, we're going to have to do is sneak past the front guards if you didn't take them out, and then uh, uh, get to the helicopter. And they won't see you very well. Like most likely, the enemies won't see you because most likely they'll be shooting at the helicopter. 
Um, so if you approach the helicopter from behind and kind of go the long way out and around, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. But they will be on high alert in just a second here when uh, the helicopter comes in. And you can see the helicopter's just chilling there. I've never, I've never seen that helicopter get destroyed. I wonder if that's even possible. Because the helicopter can get destroyed if it takes too much fire or you take too long. But I, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they just made it invincible uh, during this little part. So yeah, sneak through these rocks over here. They're, because their focus is so trained on that helicopter, they're not really gonna... Uh, yeah, they're not gonna see you too much. After you get to the helicopter, it's gonna trigger a little cutscene where uh, Sally, dear Aunt Sally, is gonna show up for the first time. Crazy motherfucking thing. So there's a car conveniently placed in front of you, run to the passenger side, throw Emmerich in, and then the easiest way to get through this part is ignore the first checkpoint that shows up and just drive underneath his legs. Ignore the first helicopter pickup point because it's too close because Sally will catch up to you. And then request a helicopter pickup at the next one. Now, I also fucked this mission up by trying to just completely escape the hot zone, which does not work. You have to helicopter extract Emmerich here. You can't just keep driving down the road and... Uh, get the fuck out of there to complete the mission. So I just drove past the first landing zone. And uh, in a second here, I'm going to pause and request the further away landing zone. Let's see, helicopter pickup. If you just go to this one, and I also managed to screw this mission up by um, putting the car on the landing zone point. And if you, like, they'll say, uh, Pequot will say something like, oh, there's an obstruction blocking the landing zone. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This video helped you out. Be sure to subscribe and give it a like and a comment, all that good stuff. Game on.